want to edit like a mangaji? You need to know how to create an animated roadmap. The man uses this basic technique a lot. Welcome to Underdogs Academy. As you can guess, this week's After Effects tutorial is how to create a basic roadmap animation. Let's get to it. There is five steps in creating a basic roadmap, and this is how it will look after you complete these five steps. Step one, draw your line. Step two, make text. Step three, make icons. Step four, time to animate. Step five, stylize your roadmap by creating a 3D comp. Let's start making it now, but first hit that like and subscribe button to help a brother out. It means a lot. Start by selecting the pen tool. I use a stroke white line at 15 pixels, then draw a line. Make the line cap and join round by clicking the icon. Let's animate the line. Follow me. Click the Shape Layer drop-down menu and click Animate and select Trim Paths. Click the Trim Paths drop-down menu now. Adjust the end value of 100 to 0. Click the Start. Icon keyframe at the beginning of your animation. Go a few frames down to where you want the stop destination to be. Set a keyframe. Now go about a second or more down the timeline and set the same keyframe you just made. Doing this gives you that amount of time to say what you need to say in your video at that moment in time. Now just follow along until we finish our line animation. Iman Gadji always stylizes his line animation in some form of fashion, so let's stylize this one. Duplicate your line shape layer. The duplicate shortcut on the keyboard is Command or Control plus D. Open the drop-down menu on the new line layer and clear your keyframes. We are going to delay this line a bit from the first one. Why? Because we are going to change the color to green to represent growth in this roadmap. We are creating a fake roadmap on how to grow organically on Instagram, aka I'm using filler bullshit that you always hear from shitty online gurus that never actually tell you any good advice, for the tutorial's sake. Now, going by the roadmap on how to create a roadmap, what is next on the list? Step 2. Make text and Step 3. Create icons using AI, which we will use Leonardo AI. Leonardo AI is very good and free and fast, which I like when doing these kind of tasks. I will show the seed number I used to make which icon. I will leave the prompts in the description below. Now set your icons in order the way you want at your stop points for the line. And start making the layout for the roadmap. I do the same effect and style for every point icon and text too, make this easy. So I will show only making one and then just fast forward to save your time. After making the effects on one all you have to do is copy and paste effects and keyframes by using command or control, plus C to copy and to paste it is control plus V. Also to note I used Photoshop to just mask out the background on the AI icons I made. Canva is a free option to use if you don't have Photoshop. Make sure to center your icon and text so it doesn't look like shit. I make each text and icon 10 frames before they are supposed to show on the roadmap so I can fade it in and add a glitch effect to it. Pre-compose each icon that goes with its text, so it will just be easier for us next. Command or Control Shift C is the shortcut for pre-compose. I'm just setting in my fade in effect by setting a keyframe for the transparency. Hit T on your keyboard to bring the transparency settings up. Let's change the color of our text now to white and highlight a keyword in green. We will also add a glow preset I made and tweak with it some to make it go with our roadmap look. Just copy my settings for the glow. Copy and paste the text glow effects to the other text now. I add a Lumetri color to the icons now. Just follow my settings for the first one and then copy and paste to the others. 
Now I do change the curve type on each icon. Other than that, all the settings are the same. The growth icon has green in it. So I turn the green curve up. Make sure to change this back when you paste it to the others. So the SEO icon has blue in it. So I turned the blue up, and I did the same thing for the Instagram icon, but I turned up red for it. By doing this, you will just be doing the extra step to make your roadmap better looking than the average Joe Blow Randy Bob dickheads roadmaps out there floating around. I add an adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl or Command ALT and Y. We will make the glitch effect now. Add the effect Glitchify to the adjustment layer and follow my keyframe settings here to make a nice glitch. I do 20 frames for the adjustment layer by the way. 10 frames in and 10 frames out is usually the way to go doing this effect. Scale the adjustment layer to the text and icon only here. We do this so nothing else glitches out like our line animation for example. Press U on your keyboard to show keyframes on selected layer. Use my flowchart graph for the keyframes graph after you easy ease them by pressing F9 when the keyframes are highlighted. Add another adjustment layer, but make this one five frames only and place it below the glitch layer close to the middle. Add the effect channel combiner and just use my settings to add an inverted flicker effect with the glitch to make the overall look of the glitch better. Make sure to adjust the 5 frame adjustment layer to your text and icon also so the flicker only hits it. Now once all keyframes are easy eased, and graph shift click the flicker and glitch adjustment layers and duplicate them, and then drag the duplicate layers to your next icon, and then rinse and repeat for the last one. Time for step 5, make a 3D comp, so click on your bottom layer, then shift click the top layer to select all comps and pre-compose them all together. Before making our final 3D movements, let's go the extra step again and make a clean paper grid background, similar how Iman uses. First, make a solid layer by hitting Ctrl and Y. Make sure to move this layer under the line animation comp. After the paper grid background is made, pre-compose both comps and then we will start the 3D effects. Follow my settings to make this clean effect. To add a 3D camera, we go to the menu bar and under layer select camera and make the 35mm preset your camera and click OK. Add a null also. We will use that to adjust keyframes with a parent link. Make the line comp 3D by clicking the 3D box by the layer. Parent the null in camera by clicking and dragging the swirly looking icon on the camera to the null. From here, it's just how you want this to look. I completely winged this part on the animation, so yours can be however you want to make it. But you can watch and copy this if you want. It turns out looking good, honestly. Pre-compose when you're done. Then add a drop shadow. For this next part, I add a basic background and a Lumitri color to it. I will leave a tutorial video in the description so you can see how to create this look. Here is the final result. 